stirring and electric and powering things off grid. Woohoo! Good morning, everybody. It's summertime! Officially, it's warm. I just got out of bed and I the first thing I did was immediately open the windows and open the back doors. And I now have this mesh screen up, which is super handy for bugs and all the rest. So, hooray! But yesterday I set up batteries and I want to go check it because I plugged a solar panel in to charge it because the batteries were at like 12.5 and 13 is charged, 12.5 is kind of halfway. But I was having issues making it work and I had this connection on yesterday which was not what came with it. So yesterday I switched it to the piece that was in the setup originally and it worked just fine. Oh and I and added a grounding wire. So let's go check how it all looks, and what the battery percentage is. Doesn't that look great? We've got to trim this. Now we have bug knitting, and I probably will trim along here too. Here is my battery box. Now the only thing it's connected to is this wire here which goes to the solar panel. So the batteries are being charged. I have not yet put the fuse on, which will then connect it to the inverter. And short power charging. So the short power charging inverter is the next job. But let's go check this. <gasps> Look! Yeah! This is the battery percentage. This is our amp powers. And this is the percentage charged. Just realized part of the panel had a big shade on it, and now look, 6.3. Ah, not bad for a 100 watt panel. I think it's 100 or 150, I'll have to look. But yeah, temp amp hour. 10 amp. So we're at 6.4, which is pretty freaking great. And the batteries are 90%. It's 130 watts. Alright guys, this is the sketchy setup that I've been using to charge my phone, turn on my lights, a little battery with these very sketchy loose hanging, there's no metal in there, it's just wood. And realistically, all of that should be connected to this, a bus bar that has fuses in it and is safely mounted so that all of these wires get connected in one place and nothing's gonna catch fire or blow up. So I've got to connect this, all of that to this before I connect it to this. So, this is an excellent bus bar and it took me a long time to find one like this because either they're all positive or all negative but this is negative and positive so here's your positive in and here's your negative in here's your negative bus bar here's your positives and the fuses go there and then this little light tells you that they're working so it's gonna be a little bit of a spaghetti wiring because I've got one two three four five I only have five yeah, only five wires to connect. And then we can tidy up the wires too, so I'll make them all the right lengths. So that it's organized and tidy and pretty and beautiful. Yay! I love this thing. It's very easy to understand. And then only one wire will go from here to the battery. And that will connect to the battery where the fuse is. So we're like triply safe. Yes! And I've actually labeled them blue and red, negative and positive, and I'm gonna put them all on these pillars. Pretty stoked. Whee! Hello! The GoPro died. So here we are on a different camera. Uh, they go, uh, 
I have connected the bus bar. This is a momentous occasion, testing whether everything works. I'll show you the bus bar in a second. First of all, the fan. Just in time for summer! I'm so happy! Alright, next one is this. This is my charging port. Oh look, it works! For when I'm at my desk for charging my cell phone. And this is the main, hello, electrical cabinet for this one. That one works. Some lights. Great. And then the last one is my bedside charging port. And we can tell it's working because there's a blue light coming out of that box. Sis! Alright, so let's go outside. I'll show you the bus bar. And then I think we'll disconnect it from the little battery and connect it to the big battery bank because then we can see real time what the um, charge percentage is and then we can connect back up the solar panel and actually use power from the sun because <laughs> we've got sun right now it's freaking beautiful we may as well be using it there we go main in positive negative and I've put some fuses in there so we've got some 20 amp fuses and some 15 amp fuses and at the moment, it's just connected here. So let's turn this off. That turns everything off. I've got this long ass wire because I have no idea how long we'll need to connect it to here when this is all the way under and somehow we have to route this wire somewhere safely from this side of the van. To that side of the van. Then we connect that to this. But I think I'm gonna install the fuse now. This bad boy. 250 amp. 200 amp max. If anyone has any tips and tricks, please tell me. It's the moment of truth. with the spinner, Flossie. Be careful with the spinner. Eventually I'm going to get things like that, but I don't know if I have some, but I just don't know where they are. It's very dark, isn't it? It's dark light outside. That's to there. And that's to the main positive. And then it goes up to here, which needs tidying up. Let's go and see if it works. Let's go and see if it works. It'll work, it'll work, it's gonna work, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. It works! And interestingly, it says 12.6. That one works. There's our blue light. Point three with fan on my. What I'm gonna do now is go outside and reconnect the solar panel because now we can just directly use the energy we're collecting. Why not? We may have to move the solar panel a few times, but look, we have 
all the sunshine here, so we may as well use it. Hello! I'm about to set up my solar panel and run all of my electrical equipment for my computer through the solar panel. I just finished wiring up the battery. Everything works! Sun is shining and I'm using power that I'm making myself. Flop and drop, flop and drop, kitty, flop and drop. Mm. <laughs> hey, kitty, it's all safe. All electricals tucked away in a box. Coming to be building inspector, inspector. Yeah, that was what I was putting my camera on. Mm. Me. It's a rag, not a blanket. What I didn't show you yet is the installation of my inverter. Now, potentially this is not its final place. I put it on the wall here because it is a solid, stable wall to put it on while I do my shakedown testing and some more day-to-day -day use of the current electrical system I do. Once I have more solar lithium batteries, I'm potentially looking at reconfiguring the placement of all my electrics. But currently things work such a relief. Doing a shakedown test. Currently generator's not working, maybe it needs more gas. This is doing awesomely at keep, keeping my fridge charged. Got some chairs and some blocks for the shakedown adventure. <sighs> this is electrical shakedown, by the way. Look, it's actually charging. It was 12.5 and the fridge has been running. So it's like pulling 43 watts because it's a 120 fridge. Yes, I know I could get a better one for 12 volt or propane. It's on the future shopping list. This one was easy and accessible and readily available, so. I have just spent the last two hours cleaning. I've got to put the sheets on the bed. Oh, I'm so happy about these. Look, aren't they fabulous? Oh, they've turned out such an amazing color. Bright oranges and yellows. So put those on the bed and then pack all our stuff up ready to go. There's horses out there. Horses. <sighs> Power system. Shakedown test. It's been fun. I've been running the fan, the fridge, the laptops, charging phones, and finally the sun's come out and we have a full battery. So the battery has never dipped below 12.1 but I haven't been able to run the fridge the whole time. So I've been switching the fridge on and off 
when there's lots of power coming in and I've been charging my laptop as a priority and my phones and the solar panel is a 120 watt panel so it's not very big and the weather has been cloudy and overcast and I would say it's we've conservatively kept up with the consumption. It would have been lovely to run the whole fridge the whole time, but unfortunately that hasn't been possible. But, you know, it was nice to, in the afternoons, the sun would come out and so I'd cool everything down, get my drinks all cold, get my tonic water for my gin, a little crispy after a long day's work. Um, and I've probably done slightly shorter computer days because of battery charge for the computer. So, all in all, good shakedown. This solar panel barely keeps up and it's an overcast few days, uh, which means in winter it would not work. So I have confirmed, which I already knew, more batteries and more solar panels. I'm looking forward to switching to lithium and putting on the roof a roof rack and as many solar panels as I can afford. So I'm hoping to get a slightly bigger system. I've been saving up my pretty pennies. So every sticker you buy, every, every cent that comes in from YouTube has been going into my solar panel fund. <sighs> Be really nice when I don't have to worry about power and I can just run the fridge. I mean, if I had a 12 volt fridge instead of a 120, volt fridge it would be slightly easier but it's a teeny fridge the fridge pulls 50 watts my laptop pulls between 50 to 80 watts and then you know the fan and the phone charges are nominal nominal much not much but i have two separate switches so i can tell my bat battery voltage from the 12 volt system and from the 120 even if i've turned the inverter off i can still tell what the battery percentage is i just don't have a way of measuring on the 12 volt system via a digital display what the pull is on the battery with the 12 volt whereas the inverter tells me how much i'm pulling for the 120 but yeah it's been a good experiment, so I'm going to show you the solar panel right now. This is the highest amount of power I've seen it bring in to date. 8.2. And battery's at 90%. 14.2 volts. Look, that's a really nice sign. We've got lots of power coming in. 1448 is what the fridge is currently pulling. It does tend to pull a little bit as it turns out on. I noticed that for a couple of seconds when I push the power, it really cycles. And I saw it 600 at one point. So it's like, it takes this like startup draw and then it just sits at this. And then when the thermostat turns off, it just drops all the way to zero. It doesn't pull any power or not enough to show on here anyway. So that's really great. I'm going to mount this somewhere soon. I'm looking forward to it. Here and there, I've showed you a few of the things that I do for work while living on the road. So I do pet sitting, house sitting, looking after people's animals very frequently, but I also do a lot of videography for other folks and photography. So this weekend, along with my electrical shakedown crews because it was quite convenient timing i was out to photograph a horse clinic i called it horse camp because i was like i'm going camping there'll be horses but a horse clinic i'm not a horse person i'm sort of learning about horses but it was a load of fun and these guys are so freaking cute Hope you enjoy. Hi, I see you. <laughs> oh, the 
so majestic. Bite his bum. Oh, he just bit his bum. <laughs> They're being pests to each other. Make sure I can send them to you. Yeah. We're going to make the salmon berry and I have all this rhubarb. I'm gonna cut that up. Oh no! Oh, it's already in there. <gasps> Look at the color of this. The salmon berries bring the yellow and the red and the rhubarb bring the pink. And I put lime juice in it and some sugar. Yum, yum, yum. Well, it is truly summer. The weather is turned up the heat, finally here in BC. I am perspiring. And because it's been so hot, I've been spending a lot more time in the ocean. Being in the ocean is a beautiful way for me to de-stress. If my mind cannot think straight because I've been doing too much van building, or I'm trying to figure out, which I actually am, how to finish my composting toilet and it's just driving me spare. Getting out into the ocean and going for a swim resets my brain. It resets my body, the cool water, the distraction, being completely immersed in another world. And I know I've said this before, for those of you who watched some of my videos for a while, the ocean is like this beautiful mental reset and break from the real world. <laughs> the jellyfish. So it's beautiful. When you go swim all the time, you see the evolution of the seasons of the ocean and it is jellyfish season. This is a fried egg and a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's mane jellyfish are a bit poisonous and will sting you if you are not fully covered up in a wetsuit like I am but wow what a swim this was amazing I had so much fun 
I hope you enjoy relaxing along with me.
so much for coming along on this video adventure with me and Siren. We did some amazing trips, including getting underwater and chilling out. I can't wait to show you the next adventure. Oh, I nearly told you what it was. You'll have to come back next week. And in the meantime, feel free to watch some of these videos in this playlist or here. Love you. Bye. And I even can let you have a little padlock. Oh wait, you're still here. Well then you better check out my Patreon because there is a lot of behind the scenes stuff here. Some extra recipes, foraging, bits and pieces you haven't seen anywhere else. The link is here. Thank you so much for your support and your love. I'll see you all next week. Bye.